everyone and welcome to my Briarfest 2022 experience video. I went to Briarfest with my dad and this first part of the video you are seeing here is our journey driving from California to Kentucky in a rental car. Unfortunately, I'm not that happy with how some of the footage came out. One of my camera lenses wasn't completely clean despite the fact I had cleaned all my lenses really well right before Briarfest, so that has some issues. Some of the footage is shaky even though I thought I was filming it really steady, and some of the audio also has some issues. However, I spent a lot of time trying to work around those problems and have edited together this big video showing my entire Briarfest 2022 experience from start to finish. Now I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. It is Wednesday morning and I'm officially checked in at the Clarion. This is super exciting, although I actually did come in on Tuesday night and stayed with my good friends Katie and Robbie, and Robbie also helped bring boxes in from the car, so thank you so much, Robbie. This is really exciting. I have not set up anything yet. I will probably start setting up to sell later today and also probably put up flyers around the Clarion and things like that today and of course do more room shopping. I did actually do some room shopping last night. It was my first time shopping at the Clarion on a Tuesday so that was really exciting. And these are my Tuesday night purchases which I will show you better in my Briarfest haul video. Be sure to check that out because I'm not going to go into too much detail on most of the models I got. But yeah, the Clarion, I'm so excited. I am going to kind of probably rest for a little while before I jump into starting to set things up for sale and going room shopping and all that. But Briarfest has officially started. All right, it's a little hard to show it with my uh, camera lens not being a super wide one. But here is the outside of my room door with the lovely rainbow LED lights. And now I did actually get my room all set up for selling, surprisingly, for Wednesday here. I'll probably only open my room for a short while tonight because I am pretty tired and stressed out right now. But I did get everything all set up at least, so whenever I do feel like opening up the room to sell, I can do that. I'll just kind of go through and show things. There's a free box. There's some bodies on the floor. Uh, over here, I kind of forgot I had this space to put stuff on, so I just Put a few random little things up there. Back over here, there is this model I actually customized for the diorama contest for Briarfest 2015. He comes with a little custom base I made him and such. A few box models, and then kind of like cheaper models here, mostly. Some models I just had to throw in. However, to get them to fit, there's a trail of painted ponies models. 
Up on this table, I have uh, mostly kind of like middle of the road models, I guess, but a bunch of different models here. Two more in the box models. Lots of models for sale. Over here, uh, I have a couple things that I didn't have room for, so I just kind of stuck them in there. I might move them to somewhere else. But here's all the stable mates, or most of the stable mates. The other stable mates are over there. But I have tons of different stable mates. They're all priced on this section. Some new in box ones, some Peter Stone chips. Just a whole bunch of models. It took me quite a while just to set up this portion because there are just a lot of models here to set up. Lots of stable mates. And then here's the other ones. These are all the ones that are just $4 each. And I decided just kind of to spread them out like that. Over here, I have my little model horse tack section. I really did not get a whole lot of tack done this year. I probably could have tried to get some more going, but I didn't want to push myself too hard on it. But I have a bunch of different beaded rope halters mostly that I made and some stuff from previous years that hasn't sold. And over here, I decided to put my uh, jewelry just on this chair, a bunch of necklaces, and then other little jewelry things like a little wallet thing, some rings, another necklace, and some little pins. And then over on the bed here, I ended up putting like all the more expensive models, or mostly more expensive models up here. So I just went ahead and laid them all down like this, thinking maybe this will be a safer option for them, so they're less likely to be knocked over or messed up or anything. Lots and lots of models this year around, and I'm gonna have a lot of models again next year as well, assuming I'm going to be selling at Briarfest again. But yeah, lots and lots of models. So that, about sums up my room for selling here. So you can see I got kind of creative because I don't have any tables or shelves with me so I just kind of made my own tables here with some empty boxes and just kind of did my own thing sort of and I, you know it works. It works for now. So that's the deal with that and um, I don't know what I'm going to do exactly now. Maybe shop around a bit or take a break. And then, as I said, I may open up my room for a little bit tonight, but I'll definitely open it up tomorrow on Thursday. finally heading to the horse park. This is probably the latest I've ever went to the horse park on Friday, but we were both just super tired and I haven't been vlogging as much as I planned to because I've just been so tired. To the horse park now and I'm really excited. We're probably just gonna kind of walk around and look at stuff for a little while. And then I have my workshop and I'd like to hopefully get my special runs today, but if not, it's not a huge deal because I don't really want to wait in line a super long time. Actually inside Briarfest, woohoo! Fortunately, it is not unbearably hot today. It is warm, but not unbearable like it's been in some other years at Briarfest. If it can stay like this this weekend, that would be fantastic. Here's more of the really neat Briar signs that I love, showing the different molds of the celebration horses through the years. I don't know why it's such a simple thing, but it makes me very happy to see. And at the very end, they always have one that has a question mark for the next year. And they have a screen with music playing and such, which is 
new for this year. That's kind of cool. And there is the information booth over here. Things have been moved around a little bit since uh, last Briar Fest. They do have Fluffy and Puffy here. Can't have Briar Fest without Fluffy and Puffy. There is a big old line over here. This is the VIP uh, handout tent. There's a screen showing different Briar videos and such. That's really cool. And back over here is, I'm assuming, the special run handout area. Yeah, this is uh, not a line I'm going to be standing in right now. All right, this is inside the covered arena. It's a little cooler, which is nice. And here's already some models over here. Lots of stuff for sale. Right now we're headed towards the uh, shuttle for the workshop, or I'm gonna go do the workshop. My dad's gonna stick around, take some pictures of the horses and such. But I also went ahead and bought my uh, raffle tickets for the weekend, because I managed to stop by there when there was like not really a line to buy raffle tickets.
All right, today is Saturday of Briarfest. This day we're uh, getting to Briarfest earlier than yesterday, and I'm going to try to go to the Briarfest store. I'm sure the line's probably gonna be really long though. And I'm also gonna try and get my special runs today. And the social media meet is also today. And I also wanna go see like the dioramas today and lots of stuff, a lot to, lot to do today, but I'm really excited. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wait for our special runs. I'll get a one of each. Thank you. All right. Ooh, Appaloosa right off the bat. I'm trying to see if it's a glossy or a matte. And it looks like it's a matte. Oh, this is a different one. This one also looks like a matte, matte uh, dappled gray pinto. So far, no duplicates. Oh, and this is another Appaloosa. I believe this one is also matte. Let me double check. Yes, he is also matte. The line for the Briar store is not too bad right now. So I'm going to go ahead and wait in it. All right, I just got out of the Briarfest store, which I forgot to film in there, but it wasn't even really that interesting. They didn't have a single warehouse find. They had a little bit of regular ones, but it was mostly all the Briarfest limited edition models. They pretty much had plenty of all of them. So I was kind of disappointed there weren't any warehouse finds at all, nothing. They also didn't have the t-shirt I was looking for, so I'm gonna go into the smaller other Briarfest store over here. Little Briar store was disappointing as well. They didn't have the uh, t-shirt I was hoping for, none whatsoever. And it is interesting, they really don't have like even that many regular runs and stuff out, which I guess I'm not too surprised about considering all of the uh, shipping issues and production issues they've had as of late. But it is a little disappointing to not see many regular runs about even. But they do still have plenty of all the Briar Fest limited edition stuff. Briarfest Hobby Center, and this is where the dioramas are.
it is Saturday evening at the Clarion, as you can see over here. I do have my special runs, which I will show in more detail in my unboxing, not unboxing, Briarfest haul video. I am very tired, okay? I kind of, and stuff is not uh, in the best shape over here. Stuff's just kind of all thrown down at this point. But I am getting low on my stuff for sale. Hoping to sell more stuff tonight, because the less I take home, the better. But before I open up my room for sale tonight, I am going to run into a couple rooms maybe around the uh, Clarion and also see if the front of the Clarion has ice cream for sale. I think they do, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm kind of craving ice cream, so <laughs> I'm going to see if they have ice cream. If not, not a huge deal. That's my evening plans right now, and then after I do that, I'm going to open up and probably sell for the rest of the night. Vlog update on my Clarion adventures. So the front of the Clarion did have some ice cream, but it wasn't any ice cream that I like. So I went ahead and passed on that, but you know what? That's okay because I got the surprise horse model. I was really hoping I could purchase and I'm so excited about him. He is the Pinto Buckskin version of the rotating draft surprise. And I'm over the moon that I found him for the exact price almost I was willing to pay for him. So I'm very, very excited. I also found another model as well. But you know, I'll talk more about those in the other video. Now I'm going off to the Artisans Gallery because I forgot I have not filmed the best custom contest entry still and tonight's the last night they're gonna have those on. So I uh, really gotta go there. Here we go into the last day of Briarfest.
So we kind of saw the guest horses a bit, and now we are headed to the Celebration Park to check out the stuff over there. Uh, trying to do all the outside stuff before it rains, because it does look like it might rain today. Right now, Briarfest is now officially over and we are leaving the Kentucky Horse Park. It's sort of not entirely over for me because there's still a tiny bit of room shopping on Sunday night, but technically it's uh, officially over by uh, Briar and whatnot. And I always keep forgetting this year because I've just had so much going on, but we should be seeing a sneak peek of what the theme for next Briarfest is when we leave here. There should be a banner and I'm really excited to find out what it is. I'm sure people maybe already posted it on Facebook and stuff, but I have not checked, so this will be my first time seeing it whenever we uh, get up there. And it's not here. 
I was almost wondering if maybe, what if they don't have one? I don't see one anywhere. It's usually always like right back here somewhere or here. It's not there, so that must mean maybe they're just announcing it online and saving uh, the money on printing a big banner that says what the theme is next year or something. It is Thursday, no, I don't know what day it is. I'm so tired. It is Sunday evening at Briarfest. And um, I'm working on packing up, and uh, except for the sales stuff, that's what I'm gonna be packing up next. But I've left my room open for a little longer so people can hopefully buy some more stuff, but I'll start packing that stuff up soon because I did pack up the stuff I'm keeping. And I feel like I accomplished my goal of not buying too much. This, this is a reasonable amount of stuff, I feel like, compared to some previous years of Briarfest. Two boxes and these kind of boxes of things that are just not in boxes, but not bad, I think. So I'm glad that I accomplished my goal for Briarfest this year of not buying a huge amount. And I'm assuming I probably sold more than I bought. I haven't actually like done the math on my sales, but I feel like I probably sold maybe about half of the stuff I brought. And I believe I probably sold more than I spent and bought and all that. But I'll do the uh, actual figuring of that out maybe on the way home or something. But now it is time to start packing up more stuff, eventually get everything packed up tonight so we can leave tomorrow morning early. All right, everything is now pretty much packed up to leave my horses I'm keeping, the sail horses I have left, everything is all packed up now, or at least packed up before we uh, put it in the car tomorrow morning. And I, I feel like I'd feel more sad about Briarfest being over right now if I wasn't so tired, but I am really exhausted. And I am still technically like gonna be on vacation for the next like five days or whatever it is, because we're gonna be taking a little bit longer to drive home than driving up here. So I still have like fun stuff coming up and whatnot. But I am going to miss Briarfest a lot already. Feels like so much anticipation every year leading up to Briarfest and then it's over so quickly. But it is so much fun and so, so worth it. This concludes my Briarfest 2022 experience video. It was fun getting to stop at the Kit Carson County Carousel and Colorado Springs on the way home. Next up is my Briarfest haul video. If you want to see all the goodies I got at Briarfest and even after Briarfest, make sure you check that out. Thank you for watching, have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!